good evening uh, all my dear student uh, today uh, as per your request i have brought uh, you know uh, the content together and uh, we are going to discuss about uh, mainly four topics you know how to write how to make your cv effective uh, then what are the different interview techniques and the uh, different um, you know the attitude and the behavioral question uh, being asked by the employer and then the uh, different questionnaire how to uh, answer those difficult questionnaire when you are in to interview so my presentation is divided into four parts okay so after uh, uh, considering two parts i will be taking a uh, five minutes break and then we will continue with the question and answer session so during my presentation if you feel uh, to you know stop me in between just raise your hand or uh, put your question in the chat box then i will uh, you know uh, consider those question at the end of the session so uh, i uh, request all of you to pay your attention keep your notebooks ready if you want to uh, uh, note down few important points because these are very important tips uh, which will be useful throughout your career okay so first uh, topic which uh, i will be talking about is the writing effective cv okay so everybody uh, in our life uh, are uh, you know writing cv one or the other day so cv is the main uh, uh, you know the main document uh, through which you are going to get into the job right so cv mainly represents you you yourself am i right so cv should be very effective so that it represents your personality what are you you know and for what reason you are asking for a job so employer will see to that how effective is your cv written so as i said uh, cv is all it's all about you and cv are an opportunity to show an employer why you are an ideal candidate for the job am i right so you can uh, show yourself in writing cv effectively in such a that you are suitable to that particular job you are fit for the position you are fit for the purpose so your capability your suitability to th that particular job uh, you know uh, should be seen by the employer so how the good cv uh, will look like it should stand out from the crowd because uh, if you might have experienced that for one vacancy or the one or two job position there will be 100 cvs coming to the employer so your cv should be unique which will stand out from the crowd which will draw attention to your relevant skills experience achievements and the potential right create such an impression on the employer that they will not be able to turn you down for the interview am i right so everyone has potential right everyone has plus minus uh, uh, everyone has the strength weakness so you have to understand uh, your potential everyone has more skills than they think they do sometimes we uh, you know are ab not able to introspect our skills we are unable to introspect about our strengths right sometimes we uh, you know demotivate ourselves so that's the reason you know uh, we fail in interview because the confidence the motivation which brings you on the interview panel that would uh, you know add to value to your interview and that is why everyone can write a good cv first thing to impress any employer so what is the difference between the resume versus the cv right so resume is what it is one or two page summary of your education skills and experience it should be brief and concise no more than one or two page that's it okay so the length and the, you know what you include in each cv is very very important what kind of words you are using you know and which has the meaning out of the each word which you have written in your cv that that makes your cv effective so what is curriculum vitae that is cv it is just little longer you know at least two pages and more detailed synopsis you know which you are going to write about 
your skills your uh, educational summaries background you know teaching and research experience any um, you know academic experience used when applying for academic education and scientific or the research post so this is the difference between the resume and the cv which i wanted to tell you which if you are not aware of then uh, how you write the cv or resume you know also writing an effective resume is the first step towards landing your next job correct so it is your ambassador to to the work world right opens the door of opportunity it is the first thing an employer sees from you and it creates the valuable first impression so we uh, everybody knows that first impression is the last impression so how the employer will be impressed the first thing is your cv am i right so your resume is you so make sure that it represents you in a well manner okay then an impressive resume is a direct ticket to your job remember your resume speaks about you when and where you are not present so many employer if you see they ask for the resume cv and they just read through your cv and uh, they select you know sometimes they select on the telephonic round itself sometimes on recommendation on reference also they select but the resume should uh, you know reflect your position your potential your strengths your skills so that they are in a position to select you for that particular post okay so uh, there is you know always a competition and the, as the competition increases you need to make a favorable first impression through your resume and your resume is a snapshot which should clearly support your career goals so you never get a second chance to make a first impression so always remember first impression is the last impression and how you uh, make your cv effective that is the first impression okay so how do you write the cv so there are some do's there are some don'ts okay so some do's uh, i will describe as like use a standard font size like times new roman 11 to 12 font size is universally acceptable but you can you know write uh, select the calibri or any other uh, fonts uh, which looks nice in a digital world you know so uh, but the font size should be 11 or 12 okay which is the universally acceptable font size and always include recent and relevant experience work experience paid or voluntary whatever okay be consistent in your layout list your skills and achievements and back up with the evidence sometimes what happens we write uh, those skills which we are not uh, you know expert in say for example uh, uh, i have handled hplc or i have handled submission through ctd ctd if you don't have hands on experience but you have thorough knowledge about the subject you went through some course and you have taken the hands on experience in the institute you can write down that you have knowledge thorough knowledge about that subject okay so that is why what is your achievement uh, and whatever you are writing it should be backed up with the documented evidence if the employer asks because they can go deep dive into further if you say yes i have hands on experience okay and keep it short cv should always be maximum two pages i'm telling you maximum two pages okay use positive action verbs like organized delivered accomplished achieved okay so i have accomplished you know so many things i have achieved this many things in my career i have delivered you know so many projects so use these uh, words which looks uh, very uh, nice and these are the catchy words include a statement about your career aspirations and what you have to offer the employer be honest but positive okay right? so negatives can always be turned into positives proofread for spelling punctuation grammar and meaning get someone to check it for you so i have seen uh, many resume you know uh, with the grammatical error and which uh, has negative impact on the employer side so always check your grammars before you publish your cv on nokri database or linkedin or whichever you know social media so see to that if you are unable to review yourself or you are unable to find out your own mistake 
get it reviewed through your friends, your colleagues, or anyone else. Okay. There are some don'ts also, like don't tell a lie. It's very important. Don't tell a lie. Don't include irrelevant personal information. Right? If uh, you uh, here, I have given one example. You don't need to include your nationality. Right? If if you are appearing for the visa or if you are uh, appearing for the passport or you know uh, for the international position. In that case, the nationality is important, okay? But in CV, there is no need to write the nationality. Then don't forget to include a cover letter. Cover letter is very important, okay? So always see to that one small cover letter is attached along with your CV. Don't ever handwrite your CV. Don't add flops, okay? Don't leave gaps in the employment. So employment history is checked. Uh, when the background checking is done, so employment history is very important. Okay, don't add any negative information. Don't technical or uh, don't use technical terms and acronyms to a CV. Don't mention money. Mentions of salaries and benefits can wait until the interview stage and only when the recruiter asks you the question. Okay, because sometimes I have seen uh, people write uh, write my CTC is five lakhs and I am expecting thirty percent rise. So don't ever mention in your CV, okay? Because uh, when the interview will happen and when the employer will ask, what is your expectation? That time you can tell verbally. So don't give in writing, okay? So these are the five C's of CV writing. First, it should be clear, well-organized, content flows are well, concise, then include relevant and necessary information. Complete means, Include everything you need to show qualification. Consistent means use consistent design, fonts, and layout. Sometimes what happens, we add one para, one table for the qualification or education, but inside the table, the font size or the, you know, uh, something got changed. So look into the format, you know, right from the header, footer, pagination, the, the margin, which you are using, you know, so numbering system, everything should be consistent throughout. And keep the current. Current means keep up to date. Update at least annually. Everyone should update their CV annually. Because you are going to add one year experience, right? So please update every year. Sometimes I have seen people update quarterly also. Because within a quarter also, you must have achieved something. You have accomplished something. You have completed any audit. You have... Uh, you know, uh, you have given some, uh, you have attended some international seminar or you have achieved some uh, progress in like uh, completing your course and uh, you have uh, awarded with the certificate for the su successful completion. So that could be your current, uh, you know, up to date. So that is why uh, you should keep updating your CV. So to repeat, uh, the five C's you should keep in mind to make your uh, CV effective. That is clear, concise, complete, consistent, and correct. Okay. Then the vital steps for an effective CV is what? Find out what skills, knowledge, and experience are needed to do the target job. Correct. So suppose uh, people are uh, working in analytical and they are uh, looking for a job in quality assurance or quality control. So what is your career aspiration? What is the target job you are looking forward? Those skills, do you have that knowledge, skills, or experience that you have to capture into your CV? Then mark, make a list of your three or four of your strong skills, knowledge, and abilities that make you a strong candidate for the job. Like what skill uh, you can, uh, ability uh, you can mention, like you have very good communication skills, leadership style, you are a very good team player, you know. So that way uh, you can uh, introspect yourself, you know better than, you know, others. You know yourself. So as per your strengths, you can mention those skills, your strengths and your abilities. Okay, and what, uh, for each key skill, think of your accomplishment and mention them. Okay, suppose if you uh, say that I have a good leadership quality, then just remember the example if employer asks, you have written the, you have very good leadership skill. So can you explain it? So in that, 
you have to have one or two examples in your mind okay so what you accomplish that you led one team who have filed you know uh, a nda uh, and we got the approval within a shortest period of time without any deficiency letter that is your achievement or accomplishment okay so that kind of uh, examples you have to keep in mind so this is just uh, one example i could quote uh, from my end but there are several examples you can think about it about your accomplishment and when the time comes you have to mention it appropriately now the first step choose your uh, job target right choose a job target focus focus is very important right people who have the hardest time finding a job are often the ones who insist on writing a generic cv that list everything they ever did am i right but remember employers don't have so much time they are looking for people who fit their requirement correct so employer don't have much time correct because they are getting thousands of cv every day so they will select you know the cv which will interest them correct which will have uh, some uh, you know uh, uh, what do you say the effective cv with the potential the skills the knowledge the uh, thorough knowledge i would say uh, the person will have so that cv will be uh, you know selected first and then the interview and other things happens step 2 is what find out what skills and experience are needed Am I right? So find the information from job ads, employer's job description, or from someone working in that field. Then find out exactly what skills the job requires. Correct. So there are eight types. You can see work experience, skills, whether it is technical skills or soft skills, education, specific knowledge, professional experience, personal qualities and attributes, languages. If you know additional language like Germany, French. that is added advantage right to any employer then physical abilities of course if uh, uh, for the disabled person handicapped person you have to mention in the cv correct then list your strongest skill as i mentioned earlier the essential professional skills are what effective communication time management leadership you know the flexibility public speaking skill teamwork personal skills and so on these are the characteristic of a successful cv it should be easy to read and understand it should be visually powerful focuses on skills clearly defines your job related experience one page or at least most two pages long don't overcrowd your cv right use the formal style formatting is also equally important language should be grammatically correct correct spelling neat and clean and professional looking margins at sides and bottom experiment with fonts and styles right bold italic and underlines etc no more than two to three different sizes so what i mean to say here don't use two three or like italic underline bold or something like that keep it plain wherever you want to make bold for qualification or achievements or awards that much you can you know keep it bold Don't use two, three, or uh, font size or styles or anything else. A few simple tips, like you know, keep it simple. Remember, the employer has to shuffle through a few hundred resumes, and he has very little time to spend on so many boring resumes, right? So to catch the attention, you have to frame your resume by keeping it crisp, concise, and to the point. Okay, and it will do the trick. Then mention relevant facts. what matters at this point is only your immediate past experience correct because employer is looking for whether this person is suitable for the job which i am offering to which i am looking forward right so what your past experience is that is equally important so what matters is your immediate past experience and make sure that you only mention things that highlight activities that will project you as a stronger candidate for that particular job okay then update your cv regularly as i mentioned earlier right make sure you are uh, you update your cv single development that has happened since you adopted your first resume 
so you can update uh, each quarter also or each year also okay uh, suppose if you achieve new skills those so that it doesn't matter right you can update frequently there is no time limit that you should update every year or so some people may not achieve uh, any additional skill or may not uh, go through any additional training or certify themselves right so in that case you can uh, you can update yearly basis then uh, keep your contact address always updated yes this also is a challenge because the contact address location where you are looking for job is extremely important for the employer because uh, nowadays so traveling has become very uh, you know uh, pathetic due to the covid you have to maintain the distance you have to avoid travel so most of the people are offering work from home job but when the situation will be fine you know after vaccination of all people and uh, all uh, people like at least 80 90% are safe then only uh, the regular uh, you know travel regular work will be starting but during covid also the job which is on shop floor like r and d scientist production chemist or uh, analytical scientist they have to visit they cannot sit at home and work on those project right unless the documentation work is there for regulatory pv and all uh, some other job it is acceptable like they can work from home but not the shop floor jobs okay then keep your contact address always updated here your phone mobile number email address you have to keep updating okay then attach a covering letter this also we have uh, you know uh, mentioned a covering letter is must it is like a biscuits with tea right so while a resume does all talking attached cover letter focuses on your suitability for that particular job a cover letter should be more tailor made for a particular job sometimes i advise people like depending on the vacancies depending on the job or uh, jd like job description you can uh, change your resume okay suppose if you think that your resume is written and is very old but you have those skills and potential which is mentioned in the jd the job description which is displayed by the employer then you can just pick up those job description and add into your cv because see it is your old cv and you don't understand what to write how to write so it is ready reckoner when you get the jd or the role reset responsibility from the employer itself and you see that you are fit for that purpose then simply you can copy paste those roles responsibilities those job description and make your cv but don't forget to attach the cover letter so in short what to include in uh, cv contact information education honors and awards thesis dissertation research experience work experience skills publication and presentation professional membership if any extra curricular activities right so these are all about the effective cvs and um, i hope it is uh, well understood by each of you thank you very much and if you have any question we will discuss now or we will straight away move forward with the next session that is interview technique okay thank you